Hi, I'm Leadership Development Coach Kathy Archer. Last week we started talking about emotional intelligence, the ability to not only understand and, and recognize your emotions, but manage your emotions. And so last week I gave you some tips around how to start becoming more aware of what your emotions are, what you're feeling in any given moment, recognizing the anger, the frustration, the annoyance, the irritation. The next step then is to figure out what do I do with those emotions? It's not like I want to blow up or cry or freak out or run and hide every time something happens. I still need to be able to do my job. I need to be able to have conversations and interact with people. So managing your emotions, again, the first step is to recognize them. You have to identify that an emotion's there. Too often we're numbing, we're pushing down, we're pretending that emotions don't exist. But when we're able to name them, anger, frustration, irritation, annoyance, when we're able to name them, then we can go, okay, now what am I going to do with that? How can I effectively use that emotion to move things forward? What is most effective for you is reflection here. This, this takes some time. This isn't something that's going to happen overnight and you're not just going to figure this out immediately. But you need to start creating some structures and routines and habits around reflection around your emotions. Number one, start journaling. I cannot stress the importance of journaling for leaders. You can do this at the office or you can do this at home or both. Um, but write down what you're noticing. Write down what you're feeling. You know, make some indications around what was happening prior to this. You know, what we're looking for is what are the triggers? What are the things that set me off? What was the antecedent that it was there before I started feeling this? And then what we're looking for is, and then what was I telling myself about that? Because here's what happens. Emotions and feelings are different for everybody. We can all experience the exact same event, but it's what we tell ourselves about that event that creates the emotion, right? So I, a couple of weeks ago, I walked into the hotel room. I was speaking at a conference. They gave me my room keys. I went up to my room opened the door and when I walked in, I could smell paint and then I seen that the, the guy was in there painting. So I stepped out, went back downstairs, went to the front desk, he gave me a different room. I could have been extremely annoyed. I could have been irritated, I could have been frustrated, I could have, you know, made comments to people in the hallway, I could have rambled about it the next morning at my session, I could have called my husband and complained. Instead, what I did was said, hey, you know what? I'm working on getting more steps on my pedometer. Great opportunity. I just went up the stairs and over and down and back. And, and so it's what I said about it. And that's what we're looking to sort of start changing in you. But before you can figure out what you're saying about it, you have to spend some time in reflection. So start journaling, start becoming aware of what the, the sort of trigger or the, the thing was that, you know, made you feel that way. And then back it up a half a second and go, okay, but what was I saying to myself about that? This is bad. This is wrong. This person's an idiot. I shouldn't have to deal with this. This is, you know, happening way too many times. What are the messages in your head that you're saying? That will help you start to figure out why you're feeling the emotion. And then what we're going to do is start to switch the way you're seeing things. This is a process. This doesn't happen, you know, quickly or easily. So keep with me, work with me on this, come back to this again and again. But the number one thing I'm going to tell you is journaling is key for you to start to recognize your emotions and manage your emotions so that you can have more emotional intelligence in the workplace and be better able to respond to challenges that you're faced with. Hey, I'm sure hoping that you're going to join me for this month's free webinar, Bringing Vulnerability and Courage to the Workplace. You know, I think that many organizations are lacking this ability to talk about things that are really tough, to have the courage to have those conversations and address issues. And when we do, it creates kind of an icky, weird feeling because nobody's really addressing the issue at hand. So join me on February 18th for this month's free webinar on bringing vulnerability and courage to the workplace so that we can have stronger teams, stronger leadership, and make the impact we desire. <music>